Hey, Easy Agent Proers. Today, I have some good stuff for you today. We're going to be going in excruciating detail, step-by-step, play-by-play, action-by-action, through how to get seller leads primarily from Google Ads, right? Google Ads are really scary. All the experts are like, you know, telling you to go and do Facebook ads. And that's great. That's fine. That's good. You know, I, I fully respect Facebook ads. But what I've been seeing lately in my own marketing, uh, marketing for other realtors, uh, just from what I'm hearing, is that Facebook ads are decreasing in uh, the ability to generate leads and the quality of leads that they are getting, right? It's going up the cost and the quality is going down. And that's just because of the way Facebook is transitioning as a platform. They've decreased the virality, the spread of a post to spread naturally. And they've also increased the frequency of ads that are shown. People are just on their phones, not really looking to buy or sell real estate, uh, you know, accidentally clinicking your ads, costing you money. Um, on Google, that's not the problem. Everything that you show as an ad on Google is going to someone who is obviously interested in buying or selling real estate, otherwise they wouldn't have typed that into Google. So I'm going to show you today exactly how you can get started uh, converting leads off of Google, turning them into clients. Uh, the going rate these days is you can usually get a nice five to one return on your investment. Um, if you hire an agency to help you with your ads and get really fine tuned with that, you can sometimes get even more than that. Um, I've seen people get up to 10 to one ratios over a long term period of trying ads. Uh, but with Google PPC, what you really can start doing is you can start filling your funnel with more leads that are ready to buy or sell now and get outside of your circle just a little bit more. So let's get into this. As you can see, I'm on a seller landing page. Uh, this is the one we have here at Easy Agent Pro. Um, it's, we've labeled it Easy Sold Homes. It's a white labeled brand. It just helps improve the conversion. We find to have a nice, uh, just clean looking logo rather than having a specific individual's face on the end. Uh, basically works like any other home tool would. You just put in your information, uh, click search, and then you can input your quality and verify the details. And then there you go. And then at the end, um, we actually don't really believe in automated CMAs. Uh, you can send one manually, you can get one via cloud CMA or something at the end and then send them to them in person. But it's really just the opportunity that you're creating to get the call. The person now knows that you're about to call. I believe that this converts a lot better than having an automated CMA process. And so what you do here is you prep them for them to call you, either by putting your phone there or you to call them. Uh, that's just the CMA tool. The real nuts and bolts about this is what we do on the back end with Google Ads. Uh, so let's get into that now. So you just need a landing page that's something like this. You need a phone number, phone number, and you know some privacy in terms because you can't run Google Ads unless you have those. Um, and then you really want that, that two-step process. I'm not sure if you saw it, but this email address, that collects the lead instantly so that later on when you get more info, um, you're going to get more info from some leads, but then you're going to get the leads that just stop after this first step too. So it's a really powerful thing to have that. If you need to build one of these, you can use something like lead pages or optimize monster. They, they make landing pages. Um, you can use any sort of land page builder, or you can reach out to us, um, at easy agent pro you can find it here. Um, we'll set it up and do your ads for you. Uh, it's just a landing page. So that's step one. Okay. Step two is sort of the cool part. That's where we start to get into maximizing the conversions we get here. So the first thing I want to squash right away is I want you to invest a little bit into phone tracking. Uh, it's super cheap. Uh, you can go to this, this company right here and you can set it up really cheaply. Um, I think I have a demo account to show you here. The pricing is actually about a dollar fifty, maybe two dollars. Yeah, um, just a demo account. You can actually go and set up a phone number. And uh, what you can do is with this phone number, you can start uh, getting put a local area code up there. Um, let's see. Try that as an area code. There we go. Um, so if you're in Wisconsin and you need a 920 number, it's literally only going to be $2.50 per month. 
plus a little bit of cents per minute. Uh, you can buy that and you can put this up here. It'll literally record your phone calls so that you know every single person that opted in from this ad uh, and then went to your site. So it's a really powerful thing that you can do with the What's Convert program so that you know that, hey, these people calling me actually came from Google and didn't just find me through my sphere. Right, it helps you justify that cost. I see a lot of people not do this, and when I've tracked it, I find that close to usually about a third of my good leads come from call-ins. And so if you're not seeing that and you're not tracking that, you're going to think your ad spend is actually a third as effective as it actually is. And that's just not, that's just not giving you an accurate picture. You're gonna shut down your ads when actually, you know, a third of the calls that you were getting in a month were because of the ads that you're now shutting down. Uh, so it just helps you get an understanding of the complete picture. You can also then go back and listen to the recordings, which is a great thing to do for sales training. Uh, just to train yourself, hear how you actually sound on the phone and know if you have to change anything. Maybe you have to fix your script that you use when picking up the phone when someone's calling in like that. Maybe you have to memorize your script because you're in your car and you have to remember that script and you know get used to getting that information down. Uh, it's just a really, really powerful tool that's really cheap that I, I wouldn't set any of this up without. Um, and the second thing that I highly recommend is using an automated ads program. Um, obviously, if you hire someone like us to do this or someone else to manage your ad spend, you can skip this part. But what I found is that if you're not 100% committed to monitoring this and in the ad platform daily, you're missing out on opportunities, on changing your bids, on adjusting your keyword strategies. And all that is basic math, just crunching numbers, seeing what's working, what's not working, what's converting, what's not converting. And that's something that can be automated by a program like this. I tried these out and it, it lowered my ad spend and increased the ad spend on things that were converting better. Um, it was just a really nice, powerful tool. Uh, they have a nice 14 day trial. You can try them out, you know, invest a couple hundred bucks, maybe 200 bucks over the course of two weeks, try them out, see what you can get data wise. It's just a nice tool that if you're selling real estate, you can rely on this if you're running your own ads and it can be a great thing to supplement Supplement what you're doing um, in terms of Google ad management. So now that, that you're you know, tracking number, you've got some tracking set up, um, automate ads, you have some ads set up, let's go into setting up an actual campaign uh, for yourself here. Um, so we'll go into a demo campaign right now. Um, and basically what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to sign up for Google AdWords and you're going to want to set up a campaign uh, that lets you target uh, whatever you want to target. Now, you can see right here it says San Diego. I would never run a seller landing page to San Diego. I would go get hyper specific, right? So let's go over to Google Maps and pick something that we really want to be specific about. Um, so let's, let's just stay in San Diego since we have that up there. I would... Um, get really niche here and start focusing on um, maybe something even as small as National City right here um, or you could even go out a bit further and get maybe Spring Valley um, one of these little communities so you're really not running it for the city you're running it for the community uh, and then what you can do is you can actually um, let's see there you go. You can actually set the demographic. Let me make sure. Yep. Set the demographic. And you're shooting for something that has more than 100,000 but less than a quarter million. So less than 250,000 reach right there because that's going to give you a demographic that you can have a high, high concentration on and that someone else probably doesn't already have a high concentration on which will help keep your default bid lower. Um, you do have to put a default bid in right here. I was just put five to and um, you, you'll fix that and adjust that later. It doesn't really matter right now because we don't even have things in there. Um, and you really do want to extend your calls with your phone number. We'll talk about that later, but call in straight from the ad is converting really high right now for people on mobile. Uh, in landing pages like this, where you have a ton of fields, like even typing your address, right? On any sort of phone, the first thing you have to do is like put the number sign and then type in four numbers and then push the letter sign and then type in a street name that probably has another 
20 characters and it's just a really annoying process and so what you can do is this this type of form isn't going to work that well so you can turn off this type of landing page on actual mobile phones and then on your mobile phone ads you can have it just show a call button and then hide the link to the landing page so you can still have your ad show up on mobile but it's encouraging them to call and that's what people want to do that's what's converting these days on those ads and then on your desktop is when you can have the link to the landing page so you're doubling your opportunities uh, while setting up the same ads right that's what I recommend for doing that um, just We'll set up those ads later along in the section here, um, but basically, let's see, you have to set a daily budget and then we go on to the next section. Uh, so you'll want to name your ad group's names. So this is going to be seller keywords. Um, if you want to write successful headlines, I really suggest uh, using a tool called SpyFu. What it does is it tracks historically what ads have been running. So let's um, let's find, we'll just make this really real. Uh, we'll go to Zillow and Zillow runs a bunch of ads, right? Uh, and so they also have a, a landing page. Oh, that's truly all that has the landing page. Sorry about that. Let me see if this is it. There you go. Uh, truly has the landing page. So let's take that landing page and toss it into here and see what ads have been running over the course of a year or so to this landing page and see if anything comes up. So it does look like they're running about half the traffic to this page. Um, they have 4,000 paid keywords. Um, here are all their keywords. You, if you click view more, it's gonna try to get you to sign up. Um, and they have some organic keywords. Uh, but what you can do is you can actually dig in deeper and you can look at the ad history for this. Um, let's see here. Oh, it hasn't been tracking. So let's go back and type in. We'll do this. And you can go to the advertiser history, see who's been running ads for this. Um, and what it will show you is a bunch of variations on what had have been running historically over time, right? So we buy houses, um, these are the ads that they've been running historically for sell my house. Um, you can see what other ads have been running for, you know, keywords like what's my home worth. So you can see these. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm showing you that you don't have to over here come up with something yourself. In fact, if you do, you're probably gonna come up with something that's not gonna work as well. So look at these things that have been running, like this ad campaign right here was, was running for a very long time for Trulia right here and for Zillow right here. And if you look at Zillow's, this V0 right here, um, that's been running for a very, very long time. So that's something that, that really has been successful for them. They're hiding the results, but um, just go it on your own browser and you'll be able to see it. I've clicked around too much. They're starting to hide stuff from me. Um, but what you can do is you can see what they're actually saying. You can also get a picture of this if you go over to your own browser and type in what's my home worth. Uh, and you'll have a bunch of different things that you can take a look at. See, here's that truly ad. Um, so I would recommend taking something like this, what's my home worth, and going over to Google and putting that literally copy paste right there. Because that's going to give you the best chance at doing this right the first time. There you go. And then it's asking you for your display URL. All that means is this right here. So um, ours is Easy Sold Homes because it's made by Easy Agent Pro. Uh, and then you're good to go. Uh, then you need some keywords, so I suggest heading over to the keyword tool um, and just you're, you're going to find a bunch of keywords like the ones we've been using here. Load up about 20 to 30 of them um, because what we're going to do next is, is really uh, pretty much niche this down as, as much as possible. Um, so we're going to save that ad group. Uh, non structured punctuation. Okay. 
Okay, just a second here. There we go. All right, so we have what's our homework. Let me just quickly pause this. I don't really want to pay for traffic to go there right now. Uh, and then what we're going to go in is we're actually going to go to the settings. And remember, we set this up so that we really want it to target uh, Spring Valley over here. So in our Google campaign, what we're going to do is we're going to reflect that. Uh, so we're going to want to change the settings and right here you can see it's only targeting Spring Valley. So we're going to want to make sure that over here on our easy sold homes or whatever landing page you're using, uh, it reflects Spring Valley right here. Because what you're going to get is you're going to get someone typing that in in Spring Valley or around the area and yours is going to be the only landing page that says Spring Valley on it. I guarantee you. Everyone else is going to say how much is your San Diego home worth, how much is your you know, red home worth, how much is your home worth, get your instant home value. It's all gonna be really generic stuff and you're going to be the only one out there that has that specific, you know, really, really niche term there. And what do we know about niche in real estate? That it always works better. So I highly recommend, even if you set up 10 campaigns for 10 different neighborhoods and 10 different landing pages, it'll be a little bit of a pain, but it will convert better and not just a little bit better, a lot better. Like I've seen campaigns that go hyper niche like this convert two to three times better than their counterparts who are going over a broad swath of land like San Diego. It's just not niche. Um, it's, it's just tuned out. It's just white noise to people these days. Just, just put yourself in a consumer's shoes walking down the street. If you see a billboard and it says, let's say, Bob, do you want to buy a home with me? And your name's Bob. You're going to pay a lot more attention to that than a sign that says, uh, buy the best homes here, right? That's something that's really generic, really overused. But when you have something that's ultra fitted for that individual, it converts a lot better. So that's all you really have to do at this point. Um, I pause the campaign. You will definitely want to leave it enabled and just hook up your credit card. Um, you can go and do more keyword research with the keyword planner if you'd like. But this is a basic campaign that if you hook up to automate ads and track some phone numbers in it, is really going to get you some great success online. So I'm Tyler with Easy Agent Pro. This has been how to get seller leads via landing pages and Google. I hope you learned something. Uh, feel free to check out the site. Give this a plus one if you learned something. Uh, if you need any help with these tools or other suggestions, reach out in the comments. I usually reply within a day or two. Sorry if it takes longer than that. I'm a bit busy with emails sometimes, but I try to get back to that. So leave a comment, leave a plus one. Uh, check out the links. I'm gonna link some stuff up in the actual video if you need some more links and help. Uh, Tyler with Easy Agent Pro, talk with you next time.